Hello everyone, my name is Janant Majha and we are watching Code with Anand. So, in the previous video, we talked about the formula in sales course and how to create the formula in sales course. So, in this video, I am going to try to talk about validation loops. And uh, before moving to that, I just want to say that you guys are watching this video but not sharing this video with your friends. So, if you are watching this video, please share this video with your friends and tell him that to subscribe this channel and bell icon so that it is going to be helpful for them. Because in coming days, I am going to make a video series on uh, Omni uh, Velocity also after this Salesforce platform video series. So, please tell him uh, uh, tell him to subscribe this channel because it's going to be very helpful for that. Because I am going to make video series on every um, topics related to Salesforce. So let's move to the uh, validation rules. So uh, there is a uh, validation rules trailhead also uh, in the um, in, in the link description box. I am going to provide the link of this trailhead also. And uh, before moving to that, I just want to tell you that the what is validation rules. So uh, validation rule is generally uh, verify the uh, data, uh, verify the data entered by the user in records that meet the standards you specify. And uh, if you uh, see the uh, standard definition of the validation rules just check it here validation rules uh, verify that the data entered by user in the record meet the standard uh, you specify before they can save it and a validation rules can contain a formula expressions that evaluate the data in one or more fields and return the value of the uh, true or false it means that the validation rule is just verify that and authenticate that the data entered by you is uh, correct or not or you are entering the valid data or not so uh, it just contain the formula and expressions and on the basis of that it just authenticate that uh, so validation in rules so salesforce rules of how to create the validation rule and the validation rule considerations we are going to discuss uh, that and uh, you get the proper definition here and uh, um, there are uh, some instructions given here that the how to create the validation rules and uh, after this, di uh, this uh, instructions if you want to practice that um, by your own i i already take this challenge but uh, if you want to take this challenge, here the challenge is given and uh, you can follow these steps and uh, know about the validation rules. So let's see the practical about validation rules. For creating validation rules, uh, I am going to uh, appointment object and create here validation rules. Let's check that the one thing. Uh, before creating validation rules, I am going to create one appointment between the teachers and the student. So uh, just select the teacher as Alokha and uh, the student as a, um, uh, Aman and uh, I am not entering any uh, appointment start date here and I am just saving it without entering a start date. So just save it means we, we are saving uh, appointment blank start date. So let's create the validation rule on appointment start date that the it should not be blank while we enter any data or while we save any uh, create any appointment. A start date should not be blank. You have to fill some uh, information for that. So let's. I'm, I, I came into the setup and going to object manager and select my object as a appointment x and uh, just select it here your object and then just come to the field and relationship and uh, for creating the uh, validation rules you will check here the on the last on the same object in the left hand side the menu you will find the validation rules here just click on here and uh, for creating new value here no validation rule is created right now so for creating validation rule, just click on the new on the right hand side and uh, you will get one uh, interface where you have to enter some uh, labels for that the validation rule so i am just going to enter the validation rules as a appointment start date so on the on the description you will uh, give anything and I'm just uh, clicking at uh, living adjective. So uh, as soon as you are saved this validation rule, it will be active. So for on which field you are going to use the validation rule. So here you can insert the fields and uh, what function you are going to use and what operator you are going to use. So you can choose as many operator as available here and uh, which functions you you are going to choose. So there are uh, categorized functions like a date or time, logical functions means and or not. If you click on logical, you will find all everything like uh, and, bank value, case, if, is, blank, is, clone, 
everything related to that not or if you click on math functions you will find log ceiling floor mean max non square square root etc on you if you click on uh, text then you will find length lower lpd mean right rp uh, rpid and if you click on advanced you will find everything currency uh, currency rate and exchange regex so but here i am going to use as a logical function and i am going to check that the validation uh, in the validation uh, in the appointment start date is there any value or not so for that i am just going to use the is blank function and uh, just click on is blank and click here insert selected field here on option just click on insert selected field and after clicking here you will find that the is blank expression is coming and for just click on uh, for in the in, just uh, mark this expressions and which field you want to insert here i just want to insert here appointment start date so just uh, choose here appointment start date and uh, click on insert so our uh, functions is created our uh, validation rule is ready so just check the syntax here and our validation functions is correct or not so everything no error is shown everything is correct and uh, for example error message what you want to show your error message there if um, someone not enter the uh, appointment start date then it should be the error and uh, there should be an error message so i am just typing error message as a the appointment start date should not be empty should not be empty appointment date should not be empty you have to enter some date and uh, where you want to show this message on the top of the page means uh, here or on the fields means uh, here on the top of the page here or on the fields means here where you want to see i just want to uh, show this message on the fields so just select as fields and uh, click on save as soon as you click here our appointment uh, validation rule is uh, applied applied so just uh, come to the our or and uh, just we are going to create one new appointment and let's see that what happen i just click on new i just choose the teacher as uh, pravin misra and uh, choose a student as aman there are not much students and teachers i created there uh, and i am not selecting any appointment start date here and without selecting any value i am just going to save that you will see that there is a error we hit a snag review the following details here an appointment started the appointment started should not be empty here as soon as you see that and uh, i am just going to see, show you one thing more before creating this appointment we created one more appointment here where we didn't enter any appointment started although uh, it's not give empty because validation rule is not applied that time but as soon as we applied the validation rules we have to give some data there if it don't give data here so then our validation rule uh, applied here and uh, it's going to give us error as you see here as soon as we click on save without giving any value we get error here the appointment date should not be empty here we uh, the message will be uh, shown as error message here we entered here so just we have to give some data so that it should not give any error just choose a date and going to save so our appointment is created and appointment expiry date is also created because yesterday we saw about the formula about formula also so this is all about the appointment validation rules and there are a lot a lot a lot, a lot things are uh, in the validation rules you have to choose uh, means how to create that how many types of validation rules you can apply so for learning that you can uh, i can refer you this uh, create validation rule trail heads and you can go through this and you will learn everything which is needed for uh, to uh, how to apply validation rules on any object so you can go through this trail head and you will learn a lot so this is all about i am just going to give the link of, uh, of this trailer in the description you can um, go from there easily so this is all about the validation rules and uh, in the next video we are going um, we are coming with the next topic and till now be happy just share my videos and subscribe the channel share to your friends this is really going to be helpful if you preparing for 21 thank you everyone